three, two, one. We're just going to take one of these tires off and see what it weighs and then see what my new ones weigh because I'm curious to how much weight he has in them wheels. So, all right, here's what we got. These are like actual car weights. They're like lead or something, I think. What does that say on there? It's probably over. Let me. It's a quarter ounce, it says, if you flip it over. Each one of them is a quarter ounce or something. I don't know. Where's the one I just looked? Right there. One quarter ounce. I don't know how many it takes to do that. Seven FE. Does that mean seven of them? I don't know. But anyway. So anyhow, not a big deal there because we got to go ring this one out and see how much weight we can get out of this one. So all right. We took the foam out to ring out of the wind that this one was a that was almost a hundred pounds of the weight was that foam and water at 90 or 90 grams so now by the time we put a foam back in there we'll probably be close to this 350 so we'll have two that are at 400 and two that are around 350 probably but i'm going to try to change the foams they're really soft which is good but I'm trailing with a very heavy truck right now as well. And the dual stage foams I run in the rear are really good with this truck. So I'm thinking maybe I need to change this. I got a whole drawer full of foams. Let me see what I got. Well, we got a few, nothing major, but a buddy of mine gave me these. And I even got some black ones for 2.2s. Let me see what I can fit in these rims. All right, here's my options of what I can work with that are pretty much, I'm pretty sure these are all the same. They feel the same. And then we got these huge 2.2s, which this is all that was in there. It's been reshaped. I don't know if that's been cut out or just mashed for so long. But I don't know. I think, I don't know if we can get them to stretch around that, to be honest. Definitely don't think we're going to get these in there. Let me just try to squeeze one in and see what happens real quick. So, all right. Now, I did get one of these in there, and it didn't quite feel it good enough because it's a bigger tire. So, we went with these, and it, I got it in there pretty easy. And with the dry one, that brings us up to 341. This other one was at 350 or whatever, but I imagine there's water in all of them probably, so. Well, guys, I was actually lucky enough to get the glue off one side of both these front ones, too. So, we're going to go ahead and swap all the foams. Now, I ripped one here, and then I went and glued it together. I don't even know if that's going to work out. If I can get it in there without it ripping again, it's going to be the thing. But, if it gets it in the tire, it shouldn't give me no issues for a little while. It's not like I'm going to go out there and torque twist it a lot. So, I kind of got to use it, so... Let's see what happens. Well, guys, I guess he actually made these evenly weighed. Once I get this ringing wet foam out, we're back down to 340 on this one as well, which is cool. They'll all still be significantly, so well, whatever that word is, you know, <laughs> they'll all be heavier. So. I got one more to go, and that's with this one that's ripped. I don't know how that's going to work because it's it's a chore to get them in there. I mean, as you can see. And then plus, not is it just the rim, it's also got all that weight around it. So, I got to get that ugly, nasty thing out of there. Well, all right, guys. One thing did work out. Now, I had to take one weight out of the back wheel. And obviously, that probably was... Uh, the front one because I ended up putting that weight back in one of these to make them even so these are both uh, 341 area and now these ones these are both 349 just about 350 I believe this one's the exact same almost that one's pretty much dead even with that other one a point one off so we still got an extra just about 10 grams in the front. 
that ain't bad and I did get the foam in there that's amazing but I got it in there so now let me get these back on the truck before I forget no actually I already marked the back ones with on the inside I think yeah I put a B in there somewhere you barely see it but there we go now then well all right there you go it's the next day but i did put them on there last night and as you can see we don't have all that side roll they're still very soft i think they're going to perform well but you know that's going to be a lot better for the weight of this truck so i think i might even pull the trailer just to see how they squat in the back and we'll go out and do some testing with it real quick well, all right guys i got some mail to open and honestly do not know what's in this box and all i can think it is is i posted on my youtube video if anyone wanted to donate to easy boy rc ask for my address and i had one person that said what's your address and i didn't ask no questions i just gave it to him so it looks like troy peters here uh sent me some stuff and I have no clue. It's a pretty good heavy box. We're going to find out what's in here. Let's see. All right, guys. All I did was crack open the tape yet. Hell, I'm taking a break off my lunch here. This, I'm already, I see what you wouldn't believe so far. You know, sometimes people are just great people. And they're not afraid to send things they don't use anymore anyway. But, man, I'm telling you now, there's some goodies in this box. Look here. Paper free paper that's always good so all right look at all the tires i already see we got some traxxas wheels three different sets we got the blazer the bronco the high trail and what we got here okay we're going to start with this servo this is a traxxas uh high torque servo probably yep exactly what it says high torque traxxas servo well, ooh, we got another servo just laying in the bottom here. It's a Reedy's or something. You know, another stock servo. I always need servos. You know, let's just go ahead and dig out a few tires out the way. We know what these babies are. That's awesome having another set. I'm going to tell you now because I like them on my grave digger, but I kind of like them on my high trail still. So, yeah, that's right. More tires than I know what to do with almost. So we also got some uh, more blazer wheels. These are just, man, them have never been ran on. I can tell you now, he took them straight off the truck. You can just tell by the foams. They have never, ever been ran. So we got those. We got some SCX 24 wheels in this baby. Um, these ones here have never been ran funny of canyon trails them's the best stock tire you can buy so you won't hear no complaints from me and you can see all the center caps are in here we got a metal servo horn some more center caps we got these uh some little crawler wheels sex 24 and more caps we got a lot of stickers in the bottom now let's see what's in this bag of good stuff here We got some inner fenders, it looks like. They go to the TRX4. Okay. A little stack of inner fenders. And then that little piece for the top here. What we got in this bag? This one feels a little heavier, actually. We got bags and bags of stuff over here. Naha. Uh -huh. Well, all right, guys, I'm not going to bore you with all me digging that stuff out of the box like I actually filmed. I realized how long that was going, so I just decided to show you what we got here. I pretty much got it all pulled out. Look at all these stickers, man. I love stickers, and we got some cool ones. I mean, we got ProLine, all that stuff, but we got these. These are awesome. The Double Douche. Oh, Deuce, my bad. Roadhouse, remember that one? But we got some tags, we got some RC four wheel drive stuff. We got some good stickers. I love stickers. But let me just show you what I think is awesome. 
he knew I was needing a servo at the time, so I got two servos here. Not just this Reedy, this is a 15 kg, you know, stock Reedy servo. But he sent me this up, upgraded Traxxas brushless servo, high torque. That's awesome. Plus another Traxxas servo and two differential servo or shift servos. And this bracket right here that goes with them, which is awesome because I actually broke one of mine and I have it kind of rigged up. And the reason for that is I forgot to mention, if I had to customize this for the Traxxas, Traxxas plugs come out the bottom. This one comes out the side. So I had to trim to make that work on this piece right here. So if I go back to a stock one, I have the pieces to fix it. So, all right, we got that. Now check it out. We got some more. Well, we got, let me just show you the inner fenders for a TRX-4. We got all the... Uh, stock parts he's taking off his axles we got portal covers we got steering knuckles the portal covers like i said the diff covers you know what i mean shift cable diff cables whatever you call them so if i ever break a piece i got spares that is awesome we got a set of 2.2s and the center caps we got a brand new set of one nines off a of blazer the black blazer and we got a set of bronco wheels brand new and check these babies out. Oh, well, axial tires. Them are awesome. But look at these. I was thinking these were just some little cheap wheels for a while, and then I read them. These are Vanquish. The man sent me some stock Vanquish tires. That is awesome. These wheels look good. The only thing I was noticing, you got to use these center caps, right? You got to bolt these on to the truck. Then you actually have to use the whole five screws to go around this thing. Six screws. You have to put it all on together you gotta set this piece up there with this piece already intact it looks like and you screw them on like a real car tire with six lugs after the piece is bolted on to the uh, axle that's pretty cool so we got vanquish tires and wheels all these servos all these stickers all these stock traxxas parts i have three trx4s so this is a big score for me because until I go out and spend money on brass parts like everybody else and all that stuff, I run stock. And if I break something, I am just dead in the water until I go and, and spend money, you know. Now, like I say, having all the steering parts is, is awesome. Having it, all this stuff's awesome. I'll come up with it. I'll figure out what I can do if I need to put new ones on, make it look cleaner, whatever. So thanks again, Troy. I really appreciate you. Where was he from? Hold on one second. Troy Peters from Westerville, I, let's see, Ohio. Westerville, Ohio. That's pretty cool. So, thanks again, buddy. That's, that's great. I was totally not expecting this package today. So, that's why this here interrupted the middle of this video. I'm sorry the video has gotten longer. Because we still have to get out and test the tires that we just put on the high trail. That's the whole point this video was started. So, alrighty. No more stalling. Let's get outside. These things just look so much better having the right foam back in there again. Which I'm sure the last ones are just a little worn out, so. I just put this board back up here again. I don't know if we can make this. This is a good weight test right here. The steepness is pretty rough. I got a tire just spinning. My diffs ain't locked. I got one just going to town up there, but we're going to make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm running on a 3S today. But as you can see, she's still pretty touchy. I mean, pretty good slow crawl.
I'm looking at the give on the tires and they're doing pretty well. This isn't as steep as the first side, but it's still pretty steep. My ass ends wanting to lift in the air a little bit, but it made it pretty good. I know this is already going to be a long video, so I don't want to drag it out too much. Get the tires a little dirty before we try to get up this rock. Now, I've done this many a times on many of different type of tires, but these tires here with these big loose knobs, it just kind of gives it a little bit of more of a challenge. Well, that was just me being not a very good driver, but see, getting that back tire to come up on this rock ledge just like the front one is not easy sometimes, unless you go a little fast like that. Look at them things wrinkle though. But they still hold up to the weight a lot better than they were. kind of come around and go back up the other way this time. I always go that way. This is where it gets interesting when you go this way. I want to just hang us up, turn right here, see if I can do this without flipping or nothing. Ah. Pick up a little wheel speed, maybe, but oh man, yeah, no, I, having that three S battery, it's hard to to not goose it sometimes because you have the power. This thing's a beast. I do like these tires. One of them has a tear that I've had to glue on the back, but uh, hopefully it'll hold up for a while anyway. We can always glue it again. That extra weight does help. hard one right here actually once you get your tires on they're good but Let's try to crawl thing here there we go oops sorry I got a little close Good job, good job. Even on a 3S battery, I still got plenty of control. Okay. 
and now that I got my servo for my second gear going it doesn't bother me to have a smaller battery but I'm so glad I got my second gear back though I'll tell you that much Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And these tires grip right into that dirt. And this is some dry, powdery dirt, to be honest. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna unlock my diffs and let it just, let it just fight for traction too. Cause this hill is a lot steeper than you would think as well. It's not just some little hill. Well, this side's not bad, but see there, it's, it's not just a little crawling hill it's and the tires they just kind of dig in don't they i mean i know i can force my way up the hill but there we go see a lot of my tires if i tried to just barely go up there because it's loose mulch it wouldn't happen that way Well, all right guys i think it's about time to wrap this one up because my battery's dead so troy thanks again for that servo man i really needed that and plus them shift servos those are really come in handy and everything else that was in the box man i appreciate that so i hope you see this video and anyone else that wants to send me something all you gotta do is ask for my address and i'll take it it don't matter really what it is as long as it's not a bomb or a puppy or cat. I don't want none of them. So, anyway, guys, thanks again, and please like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.